Hi there, I'm Peter Millard and this is 10 Minute Workshop. My 10 minutes in the workshop is never enough. In today's quick video, I'm going to show you how I go about edge bending some veneered shelves. It's coming up next. So this cabinet job's uh, coming along and the cabinets are pretty much set in stone, they're all done and dusted. Uh, the shelves have been cut to length and sized. I've got a solid sapili uh, lip on the front edge. Uh, they've been cut to width uh, and veneered on the ends. And now I just need to, to veneer the long back edges because obviously they're adjustable shelves, they'll be removed uh, at some point and they'll be seen. Uh, now you might be forgiven for thinking that I'll have some incredibly sophisticated sort of Festool Conturo edge banding machine, I don't have anything like that. Uh, I just, I don't do enough of this kind of thing to be honest. Uh, so all I really have is a roll of iron-on Sapili uh, edge banding veneer and a domestic iron. Let me show you how I do it. Now there's no particular magic to this, we've got our domestic iron set on a medium hot, so between two and three dots. You find this out a little bit by trial and error. And we've taken our length of iron-on veneer and we've just sort of snapped it off roughly to length. And all we do, once the iron is hot enough, is we start just by arranging the edging in the center of the board so it's pretty straight. Then we just start by tacking one end down and working your way along slowly, a little bit at the time. What I found that on the longer runs like this, you can't do the whole thing in one go. So a block of wood, because the top surface of that is really hot. Block of MDF or plywood or something just to apply a little bit of pressure while that glue cools down and sets and then you can carry on with the rest of it. Warming it up and then applying pressure until that glue sets. With the adhesive fully cured, we can trim off the ends nice and square with a simple utility knife. And when it comes to removing this excess little lip, I do have one of these clever uh, edge band trimmers that will actually do both sides at once, but I found I was squeezing too hard to actually scores the veneer slightly, so I tend to use it just one edge at a time, like a little plane. It works really well.
And with everything trimmed back, we can just finish off with a very light hand sanding. So I've finished up with a little bit of P320 abrasive. That's all ready for a finish of our choice. Uh, and that's it really, that's how I edge band my, uh, my shells. As I say, I don't do a great deal of this type of work. Uh, if I did, I'd either farm it out to somebody else or, uh, or invest in an edge bander of some kind. But for the small pieces I do, this iron-on uh, edge banding, this iron-on veneer and a simple domestic iron works incredibly well and gives a really nice result. Um, I hope you've enjoyed that, I hope you found that useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up, share it freely and do consider subscribing. If you haven't already done so, well, hey, just check back on a Friday when there's always something new up at noon. I'll see you then. Take care.